Okay, students, in this video, we will discuss uh, sums in regular grammar. Our first question is obtain grammar to generate string consisting of any number of A's. String consisting of any number of A's. You know regular grammar, the corresponding language is regular language, and you know uh, regular language is accepted by finite automata. So, what you have to do is like first uh, um, design a DFA for this question. And then with that DFA, we can write the regular grammar. Right? So uh, any number of A's, any number of A's means it is just loop. Right? It is just loop. Any number of A's. And here in the, the definition of grammar, it is D is equal to B T P S. D is equal to B T P S. And you know, yes is the start symbol and I told start symbol is the LHS of my first production, right? So till now while designing my DFA, we have numbered the states like not Q1. So here we number like first state will number as yes indicating start state. After that all the states will number as A, B, everything with capital letter, right? So that while writing the productions, it will be easy for us, right? So here I write this yes, right? It accepts any number of these. So this is my start state and final state. This is my uh, finite automata. Now I have to see this transition diagram. I have to write my regular grammar. Right? Uh, while writing the regular grammar, remember you have to add epsilon transition to my final state. So here which is the final state? Yeah, this is the final state. So I will be adding epsilon transition. Right. Uh, next, what I have to do is like take the state. Right. Uh, now, yes, is the state. Right. And how to write the RHS is like see the input. Here A is the input and check this input from where it is starting and from where it is ending. Starting, ending you have to write. So it start. Right. Uh, so yes, start state. Right, my input, you write the input and where it ends. Where it ends, it ends in yes. I will tell, right, here what you have to write, where does it start? Left hand side, where does it start? Arrow mark, what is the input and then where does it end? Right, since I have only one state, I will have only two productions. Right now. We will discuss one more example. String consisting at least one A. At least one A. At least at least one A. Right. Uh, at least one A. You know, at least one A means at least one A. This is this will be my final state. After that, I can have any number of yes. Right. So this state, my start state, yes. At least one year minimum requirement is one. Right. After that, I can have any number of yes. So I put it in loop. Now how to write here? Which is the final state? A is the final state. So I will include epsilon transition. Right. Next step. Take this, take this input, from where does it start? It starts from yes, and input is A, where does it end? A. Correct. Next, right, take this input, where does this input start? A, input is A, and where does it end? Capital A. So these are these three productions are your regular grammar. Write this, then you write the grammar. G is equal to B, T, P, S. What are the variables here? A and S. What are the terminals here? Only small a. What are the productions? All these three productions. And which is the start symbol? S is star symbol. You have to conclude like this. Right, we will discuss one more sum. Any number of A's and B's. 
any number of A's and B's. Any number of A's and B's. Right? I'll rub this. Any number of A and B. Consisting any number of A and B. Right? So here, how to write my final chart on it up? Yes, any number of A and B. Am I correct? Any number of A and B. So here, which is my final state? Yes, it's my final state. Include epsilon transition. Then write for every input. Which is the first input? A. Right? For this A input, which is the start? Uh, from where it starts? From where it ends. It starts from yes. Input is A. It ends in yes. Next, write for next input B. Starts from yes. Input is B. And it ends in yes. Now what you have to do? G is equal to B, T, P, S. What are the variables? Only S. Terminals A and B. Right there. And uh, productions on productions, S is start from that. S is start from that. Right there. We will discuss one more sum. Even number of A's. Even number of A's. You know, even number of A's, it is string length mod k problem. Right? Even number of A's, string length mod k problem. That is, with the length I proceed. Right? So, even length. So, I have to, how do I know whether the number is odd or even? When I Take modulus of 2, I know whether the number is odd or even. So the modulus 2. So possible reminders are 0 and 1. So first state is for reminder 0, second state is for reminder 1. What is my question? Even number of A's. It talks only about A. It talks only about A. So even number. So even number means when I get reminder 0, then only indicates the number is even. So remind is 0. So this state is my final state. Right? So first A odd number of A. Second A even number of A. You know how to do it for this. Right? Now what I told this is my DFA. To write the grammar very easily you can rename this. I name this as yes and this is A. Right? Now how to write the grammar? Which is my final state? Yes, this is my final state. Include epsilon. Then write for this input. This input from where does it starts? Yes. Input is A and it ends in A. Next, write for next input. This input. This A. From where does it starts? A. A. Input A. Where does it ends? Yes. Now you have to write G is equal to B, T, P, yes. B is equal to S and A. Terminals, right? Productions, all these three productions, and S is start symbol. Yes, thank you.